Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I am going to do a love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the first half of February. Uh, please know that timing is flexible and this is a general reading. If you need something more specific, my information is in the description box. I do phone readings and I also do uh, personal recorded videos. Also, if you um, would like to check out your other signs, um, this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can check out my other videos to see if there are messages for your other signs. Example, I'm a Cancer Sun sign, and my um, Leo Moon sign usually resonates with me pretty strongly. So feel free. You can check out my playlist or um, in my videos okay and then finally if you enjoy my videos please subscribe like and comment i appreciate it that's how i get my feedback um, if you're new to my channel i do the first half of the reading is the tarot portion the second half is the oracle cards which i have laid out here it's a pick a angel uh, oracle reading and basically um you pick one of the stacks and those are the messages for you the first stack is the i had to make sure it's the masculine angel okay the second stack is the feminine angel and the third stack is the baby angel okay so think about which stack you're most drawn to okay and then those will be the messages for you and we'll get to those in a little bit Okay, thank you angels and spirit guides for your guidance. Oh, you know what? I didn't cut the cards. Let's cut the cards really quick. All right, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for Sagittarius. First half of February, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, the cards are already dropping out. In love. One more card, please. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm feeling here, Sagittarius, is I'm feeling here um, there is a situation that has ended in the past, okay? This may be with um, a water energy Um you know, or it could be any sign here. Um, but I feel like um, there is somebody in your life from your past um, where things might have ended, okay? Um, but I feel here that things are moving forward again, okay? So like I said, this could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? Also feeling here that some of you may be purchasing a new car. Um, I feel like this person in your life is very kind and very giving. Now, the roles can be reversed, okay? So take it how it resonates with you. But I feel like this person, um, you know, if this was not something that ended in your life, I mean ended in your life, if this was not a past relationship or connection that ended, I feel here that this person has been there for you through... Um, something that was very painful that happened in your life here because we have the ten of swords here so i feel like um you may be moving forward with this person um in a connection or relationship <clears throat> i feel like you were you were there for this person through something very traumatic for them okay um so this may be um, this could also be a past relationship that ended and now the two of you are coming together again or I feel here um, that this person um, in your life has helped you through um, something, some difficult times in your life. Okay, all right, so let's keep going here. Okay, but definitely feeling some water energy here. 
All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know regarding love for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the first half of February. Please tell us what we need to know. Please tell us what we need to know. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Okay, got the cards we needed. Okay, yeah, so uh, what I'm feeling here, we have the judgment card with the chariot, okay? So like I said, I feel like some of you are going to be purchasing um, a new mode of transportation. So this may be a new car, and I feel like you're going to have to make a judgment call. For others, um, if this has to do with love and relationship, I feel here um, definitely with the judgment call, um, or the judgment card here, I feel like um, there is some past karma um, that needs to happen here. So I feel here um, definitely you are going to be moving forward with this person, okay? And I definitely feel like this is somebody from the past. Now, like I said, I feel like this person in your, your life is very kind and very giving. Um, I definitely feel water energy here. It can be any sign, but um, take it how it resonates. Um, but I feel like um, this is somebody that you can see yourself in a commitment with here, okay? Because we have the higher fence. So definitely feel um, like you see yourself in a committed relationship, okay? So uh, the next card that we have is the Empress card, okay? So feeling here that they definitely, this person in your life sees you as a beautiful woman, basically who has it all, okay? Someone who's kind, who's giving, um, who is creative, does well with business, is stable, controls, you know, their emotions, is very authentic, honest, and truthful. Um, so I feel like this person really feels like you have it all. And like I said, I feel like they see... Um, a commitment with you. Okay, so um, I feel here, no matter what has happened in the past, like I said, I feel like there was some, uh, this person was going through a lot. Okay, um, or you were going through a lot, however it resonates. Um, I feel like, um, you know, you've become this real authentic person. Okay, and I feel like you're finally, <clears throat> you know, I feel like everything is finally coming your way or you're attracting um, what you want in your life. Okay, I feel like things are finally working out with you. I feel like you've had some, some struggles in the past that have held you back, but I feel like things are falling into place. All right, let's keep going. Okay, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Oops. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, so the first card that came out is the four cups and the judgment card. So like I said, I feel like there's some things from the past um, that are kind of distracting you. Okay. So I feel like, um, you know, you can see this person's focused on this one cup. So I feel like there's some things still in the past, some karmic things that, um, that need to be worked on, okay? And I feel like that may be causing a little bit of delay um, with the new opportunities coming in. But I feel like the new opportunities are coming in, um, and I feel like you're feeling a little overwhelmed and maybe feeling a little bit distracted here, okay? But that's okay because I feel here um, with the magician, okay? I feel like you're finally getting to a place um, where you're attracting all the things in your life um, that you want, okay? And I feel like they're positive things, like I said, here with commitment, okay? I feel like you and this person are moving towards um, something that's going to be committed, okay? All right, now the next card, beautiful, beautiful card, 
as I said, I'm showing you seeing that you are this Empress energy. We have the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is divinely guided, um, that the divine is um, basically handing you this uh, relationship, that it's a loving relationship, that it's going to be very fruitful. Um, for some of you, you may be having um, children or getting pregnant. Okay, because the Empress is also can be a pregnant woman as well. Um, and I really felt like this cycle, this Ten of Swords, whatever happened in the past that um, was pretty traumatic. Um, I feel like the, it, it needed to happen. It needed to close out. It needed to end for this newness to come in. Okay, so I feel like there, Sagittarius is this beautiful new beginning for you. Okay, here with the Ace of Cups. All right, um, but with the Ace of Cups, there's also, um, you need some patience as well, okay? Um, be, you know, with Sagittarius too, um, feeling here, there definitely is balance um, coming. So I feel here, definitely good things are coming for you, Sagittarius. I feel a, a newness, um, a beautiful love for you, okay? Let's uh, move on now to the oracle portion. The first um, angel is the masculine angel. So if you pick the masculine angel, let's go ahead and read these cards. Okay. So um, the first card that came out is you are ready. Okay. So definitely feel here um, that you are ready um, for all this newness to come into your life, okay? I feel like you're done with the past, you're done with the old, um, forgive and forget. Um, I definitely feel here you're ready for new beginnings um, and blessings to come into your life, okay? And that's what I'm feeling here, that's what's coming. Now, the next card that came out is wait. Okay, so I feel like here, your angels are saying, don't rush into anything. I feel like they're saying, you know, wait, be patient. I just talked about the patience um, and, and balance. I feel um, you need to make sure that you are, um, you know, feeling balance, feeling peace, feeling like you have truth and clarity in the situation here with the sword, okay? So there may be something... Um, that you may need some clarity on. And so that's why I feel here your angels are saying, wait. And, and I take this as a do not rush, okay? Take your time. Um, the next card that came out is your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind, okay? For some of you, um, this person may not have seem like the person you thought would be your soulmate, okay? Um, so your angels are saying, keep an open mind, um, you know, things, you know, if this is somebody from your past, things may have not worked out in the past, okay? And, um, you know, you or this person may have made a wrong decision, okay? Thinking that, um, you know, you're, you weren't the person that um, they thought was their long-term partner or vice versa. Um, but this is your angels just saying, keep an open mind, okay? The next card that came out is work on your partnership, give your relationship a chance, okay? So I feel like a lot of you, this is somebody already in your life or, or someone from your past um, that you're gonna be working on things again with this person. And I feel like it's gonna turn out really, really well Okay, the next card I pulled is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yes, beautiful message there. Okay, and then the last card I pulled is a message from Archangel Michael. And this card says... Shield yourself. This card indicates that you're especially sensitive to energies and emotions right now. 
Archangel Michael is shielding you from harsh energy, but it is also important for you to take action steps to help you with this endeavor. For example, avoid situations where anger or competition are expressed and stay away from bars, pubs, or other places where chemicals are abused, which can attract lower energies. Follow your natural inclinations, such as keeping to yourself or spending time with soft-spoken, gentle people. Okay, and it's funny that it says soft-spoken, gentle people because I'm picking up here a very soft, gentle-spoken energy. Okay, so that's pretty awesome there. All right, so let me keep going. Um, so possible specific meanings. Now, all of these may not apply to you, so take the ones that do. Wear or carry a protective crystal, such as a black obsidian. Make sure that you're physically protected, including having up-to-date health insurance, an automobile in good working condition, and so forth. Use caution in dealing with this situation or relationship. And if you'd like to say the prayer with me, I'll hold it up close so you can read it. It says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. safe. And you can name your loved ones. Okay. So beautiful message there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to move on to the next stack, um, which is the feminine angel. Okay, let's lay these out. Okay. So the first card that came out is your love, this is Romance Angels, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay? So um, feeling here, um, you know, this may not be about forgiving your parents. It, it can be about, um, you know, things that have happened in, to, in your childhood um, that you may need to give forgiveness for that are affecting your relationships now, okay? Um, for some of you, you know, this may be situations um, involving family, if any of you are going, um, you know, just recently went through a divorce or a separation, um, this can be about also children involved in healing those issues, okay? All right, so the next card that came out, <clears throat> excuse me, it's time to dis disconnect yourself from the world, retreat. So I'm feeling here um, that you may be taking some alone time with this person, okay? You may be um, spending some quality time with this person, okay? Just you and this other person and nobody else um, interfering, okay? So the next card that came out in uh, Angel Answer Deck is Compromise, okay? So <clears throat> definitely this card is about balance. Um, I actually talked about the balance and patience um, with this new beginning. So I definitely feel um, with this person or connection that things are definitely going to balance balance out. And there may be, there may be some compromise that's needed um, between the two of you as well. The next card that came out is the situation will improve. So feeling here, your angels are saying definitely the situation um, is going to improve. And it, and like I said, it does. It looks beautiful. I feel here, you know, we have the Ace of Cups. You guys have this new beginning coming. <clears throat> okay, so the next card that came out is the baby, baby angel. Oh, wait. What am I saying here? Sorry, I didn't finish. Okay, so for the Lover's Oracle, card was the next card. And it says, Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay, so beautiful message there. Okay, so the last card that I pulled um, was a message from Archangel Michael. Um, the card is sense of humor. 
So let me pull that message here. Okay, so this is what the card says. This situation would benefit from your sense of humor. View your experience as if you were watching a scene from a movie, keeping in mind, as Shakespeare said, that all the world stage. What do you find humorous about human nature in this scenario? By getting a new perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love. Humor allows people to drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation and relationship. That's why God and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor, and so do you. Okay, so the specific, possible specific meanings um, for this card, and all of these may not apply to you, so take the ones that do. So it says, know that laughter is the best medicine, watch a funny movie on TV, um, movie or TV show, sorry, watch a funny movie or TV show to boost your mood. Your life's purpose may involve comedy, writing, acting, or speaking. Learn some new jokes as a way to help your relationship. Uh, enroll in a stand-up comedy class to increase your speaking skills and self-confidence. Okay, and if you want to say the prayer with me, the prayer says, Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. Okay, beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed um, this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. So I get my feedback and I'm going to move now to the third stack, which is the baby angel. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Okay, so um, the first one card that came out is a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, new love. Okay, yes, so I definitely feel this person um, in your life. Um, or it could be for some of you, um, a new love coming in. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, um, this, uh, situation with this person has rekindled. Okay. And you're feeling, um, you know, it again, as a new love, um, as completely new, even though, um, things have may have already transformed with you and this person. Okay, the next card that came out is positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Um, stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, so feeling here, this is um, the universe letting you know, just be positive about the situation. You may have some doubts, um, you know, or fears, or like I said here with the Four of Cups, I feel like there may be things um, that are distracting you from the past. Um, but just move forward, stay positive, put it in the universe that things are going to work out for you. Okay. The next two cards are from the angel answer deck. The first card that came out is within the next few weeks. Okay. And the second card that came out is opportunity. Okay. So feeling here definitely things are going to progress and move forward over the next few weeks. I also feel like there's going to be opportunities here for you, some abundance coming in. So this may be financial as well as love, but whatever the case, I feel like, um, you know, everything's going to work out. And this is good. And actually the timing, um, cause this reading is the first half of February. So this is what actually the perfect timing, you know, this is actually falling in line with the timing of this reading. Okay. Now the next card that I pulled is from the lover's Oracle deck. And it says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that, which is beyond our control. Okay. So I feel here. Sagittarius, this is about just, you know, letting things fall into place as they are, okay? I feel at times you have um, a lot of distractions um, or, you know, you may be trying to control how things play out, 
Um, but this is just about accepting what is now, expect, accepting what is being, um, just let it flow, okay? The next card um, that came out um, from a message from Archangel Michael, and the card that came out is called Self-Respect. Okay, so I feel here, um, for some of you, you've had to learn um, some self-respect through this process, okay? And it says, Archangel Michael is supporting your quest for happiness, health, and abundance by advising you to respect and love yourself. The situation you're inquiring about has some dysfunctional, aspect, dysfunctional aspects which can adversely affect your self-esteem. This card is a sign that it's time to honor yourself, even if others aren't treating you in a worthy manner. You deserve respect from yourself and others for your beloved child of God. Okay, so possible specific meanings is, um, and remember all these may not apply to, just take the ones that do. Get counseling to build your self-esteem. Leave an abusive situation. Let go of behaviors that you know deep down aren't healthy or right for you as guilt erodes self-respect. Insist that others treat you with respect. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all of my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving and kind people. Okay, so beautiful message there. Um, yes, I feel sometimes, Sagittarius, um, you try to make everybody happy, and I feel like sometimes you can lose your self-respect in that way. So that's a beautiful reminder from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe like and comment. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.